from the 12 tribes of Israel, you are so special, he wants you clothed up. No, that's all right, because when you come out here with your body exposed, all right, what the guys on the want from you? Yes, yeah, sis. Yeah, they want what they see. I rather you got a son now. Uh, do you got other children? All right. Toot on the he is on the watch. Your example of on the what a wife is. Uh, give me Proverbs 31. Bring it out. Bring it out. All right, God calls you a daughter of on a Sarah. All right, you got forefathers. Abraham, Isaac, I mean Jacob. Bring it out. I mean Judah is your forefather. Uh, but you got on the, on the mothers like on a Sarah. All right, on a Rebecca. That's right. All right, on the righteous women who actually on the reverence their husband as a Lord, as a king, as a God on the earth. That's right. All right, our people wonder on the why our people so broken today. I mean, so divided. All right, the brothers out here chasing tail, and the women ain't got no respect for themselves. So the brothers out here chasing tails, and the women ain't got respect. It's gonna be disaster. It's gonna be baby daddies, baby mamas, all over the place. I mean, read that. The Book of Proverbs, chapter thirty-one, verse ten. Who can find a virtuous woman? And that's what is, I mean, God is looking for. Um, that's what our people is looking for. All right, a virtuous woman. Read. For her price is far above ruby. Is far above ruby. Bring it out. All right, and a virtuous, I mean, virtuous is going into righteousness. I mean, what is righteousness according to the Bible? Bring it out. Hmm? See, see. Now, this is what you got to teach him. All right, and when you want a wife, you don't want uh, just to bust it down. All right, a side piece of whore. You don't want that for your, I mean, child. Bring it up. All right, you want him to have a wife and, I mean, take her and only get a family one day, right? What? And the same thing that you, I mean, should want for yourself going forward. So. That's right. I mean, but it's one way to get that. You have to change. What? All right, and read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness, righteousness. if we observe to do all the command these commandments before the Lord our God. Um, so you got to start to do the laws of God. Uh, do you eat pork, shrimp, some crabs, on, on, on lobster? Yeah, you no. can this. See, they push that on our people. I don't eat pork like that you shouldn't eat pork at all. Right. And this is the reason though. All right, I'm not telling you from opinion. All right, I'm telling you what God said. Oh, bring it all right, and God oh. created your body, right? All right? And he should know, I mean, what should go in or on what should stay out, right? right. Y'all read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse seven. Read. And the swine, Listen. and the swine, read. though he divide the hoof. Now what's the swine? Swine. Swine, like, uh, swine. Like, you eating that swine? No, you eating that swine on what swine? swine like, oh, I pig. mean pig, pig and pork. Yeah, pork. I right, read it again. The book of Leviticus, chapter eleven, verse seven. And the swine, and the pig, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He don't chew the cud. He is unclean to you. He is what, God? He is unclean to you. Read. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Of their what? Of their flesh shall ye not eat. So you said that you love God. All right, I said the same thing at one point. I was a dirty liar. All right, the brother called me out, man. He showed me commandments I was breaking. I was like, damn, and I got to change. All right, and when you say that you love God and, it, and on the God gives you a law or something to do, you're gonna follow that thing, right? right? So like if you love God on the should you continue eating pork? No, you should not. Bring it out. And on the think about the um so the on the health of our people. Who leads in diabetes? Us. Who leads in high blood pressure? Us. Ah, uh, cause you're 
I don't want to put in filthy things in your body. All right? On when you buy a car and it say put 87 in there, you don't put no diesel in there. All right? It's going to tear your car up. Right? Yeah, give me um, Acts on the 319 again. And then Psalms on the 19 and then come back, soldier. I mean, so this is what we got to do going forward on the, for you and your baby and your people. All right, I'll read this. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. I mean, so we got to repent or on the change and on the be converted. All right, I'll read. That your sins may be blotted out. All right, that your sins will be counseled out on what is sin? You breaking God's way. You do breaking God's law with sin, read. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. All right, on the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Read this. The law of the Lord is perfect. On um, what we out here teaching our people, I mean, God's laws is perfect. It ain't anything wrong with those laws. All right, man, those are going to change our people, read. Converting the soul. Converting the soul. I mean, so that's what's going to change your spirit or your soul. Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. And it'll change you from on the being simple into being um, a woman of wisdom um, who can teach her son um, how to be a godly brother one day when he grow up. All right, to seek a godly wife on the when he grow up. Uh, do you understand that? Uh, come back, soldier. Hey, so sis, I can see that you got a humbling spirit because you're still standing here, right? So what you going to do from this day forward? How you going to change it? Yeah. So you going to do more reading chain for yourself? Do the Roman, uh, not do the Roman, Psalm 19 and 7 again. And this is how you're going to change. It's the only way you can change. You can try to change yourself and do some reading, but you're going to have to be around people also that can show you as well. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Converting means changing. So keeping God's law is going to convert your soul. It's going to change your soul. You're not, you're not going to keep paying on because you know it's a sin according to God. You say you love God, right? And since I heard you say before I left, you say you got... You go to church on Sunday, right? Pull, up, pull out your phone and pull up your calendar. What day of the week is Sunday? You said Sunday is the seventh day of the week? Yeah. Are you sure? Hold on, let me pull the calendar. Sunday the first day of the week. So why are our people going to church on Sunday? You see it? You see this right here, sis? You see these signs? Who taught us how to read and write when, when we came over here? Yeah. But who taught your mama's mama? Even way back when we had chains upon our neck. You know, at one point in time, we were getting killed if you got caught reading or writing. So who taught us how to read and write once we came over here? The white man, our enemies. Why do you want to say it? Deuteronomy 28, 48. Bring it out. You got to understand, see, this happened. We can't hide this. This happened to us. Nobody else but us. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. It said, therefore shall you serve your enemies. Who is your enemy? You finna find out. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. You gotta pay attention to that, sis. It said, you gonna serve your enemies which God sent against you. Cause what? Cause you broke his commandments. Read. In hunger and in thirst. Every time you hungry, where you gotta go for your food? And who own these places? Every time you thirsty, or every time you gotta pay your water bill, who you gotta go to? 
Read. Any nakedness. It's an any nakedness. The clothes on your son back. Who you gotta go to for your for your son's clothes and your clothes? The white people. Read. And in what of all things? It said in what of all things. Learning how to serve God. Who you went to to go do it? The white man. So if the white man gonna teach you how to serve God correctly, get out. He's not gonna teach you what's gonna put him at the bottom of you. So you say you go to church on Sunday, right? Give me Exodus chapter twenty, verse eight. The white man taught, taught you, I gotta go to church on Sundays. So he says Sunday is the Sabbath. But is that what the Bible say? He said the seventh day. Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Hey, bro. Where you see yourself on this sign? You said Judah? All praise him. We're going on the Sabbath day right now. What day What day is the seventh day of the week? Sunday. That's the same thing my sister said. Pull out your phone and look at your calendar. Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. It said remember the Sabbath day. Why I got to say remember the Sabbath day? It said remember because our people will forget it. You learn Sunday with the uh, seventh day of the week through what? Through slavery. That's why, that's why the Bible says, remember the Sabbath day. Read. To keep it holy, six days shalt thou labor. It says six days shalt thou labor. What's the first day, sis? The first day is Sunday. So what that mean? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's six days. So what's the seventh day? Saturday, read. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. So that's when you got to do all your work, read. Right? But the seventh day. But the seventh day, Saturday, is what? Is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Hold on, say that one more time. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So who taught you Sunday was a Sabbath day? What the Bible just say? That shows us what? We've been lied to. They're not going to teach you that y'all the best thing ever walked this earth. And hey, where you see yourself in this sign, bro? The first one? Who else came from the uh, tribe of Judah? What you, what you know about the tribe of Judah? You don't know nothing about it? Did you know that you was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah before you walked up here? What about you, sis? Did you know that you were an Israelite from the tribe of Judah before you walked up here? You didn't know. Did you also know that prophesied in the Bible as well? Three. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Huh? The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. So it said an ox. An ox is like a cow. It's cattle. And it said an ass. The ass is the donkey. It said an ox knows his owner so he knows who his master is and the ass his master's crib. The, the, the donkey know how where his homeland is. Read it again. The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. Uh -huh. But Israel. Who? Uh -huh. But Israel. The twelve tribes. The same tribe y'all came from. Read. Does not know. Y'all don't know. Because what you were calling yourself before you walked up here? Black. African American. I'm just a, I'm just a nigga. Read it again. Knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. Cause we walk around proudly, saying I'm black and I'm proud. And don't even know where we came from.
I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't singing that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.